Okay, so after uh, the actions are assigned uh, to the connectors, now we would have to activate uh, the BC sets that are required for uh, BRM, okay, uh, the business role management tool. So SAP has given you uh, five BC sets which are related to uh, BRM, okay. What are those five uh, BC sets? So you so those five BC sets are GRAC role management landscape, methodology, uh, prerequisite type, uh, GRAC role status, and then uh, sensitivity. Okay, so um, these BC sets are provided to simplify, uh, um, you know that, you know, it's to, it's to simplify configuration and uh, value population, the master data, uh, in the in GRG system. Okay, so how do we activate this BC sets, right? So the transaction code for activating BC sets, we know, is, uh, let's go out of IMG. Uh, the transaction code is SCPR20. Okay, execute SCPR20. And then let's say, let's go and search for GRDC, okay? So, so you have about 32 BC sets related to access control. Okay, 32. And these 32 include BC sets required for uh, ARA module and EAM module tool as well as uh, GPRM tool as well as uh, EAM tool, okay? So this five BC sets that you see, role management landscape, role methodology, role prerequisites, role status, and uh, role sensitivity, these are the five BC sets that you need to activate for BRM purposes, okay, for using the BRM tool. So let's pick the role management landscape and activate, okay? So what does it do? So, so prompts you for a transport request, put it in, and then in the activation options, select expert mode, and it would sometimes give you activation end date with warning, which is okay, or it will say an activation success uh, was successful, you know. So what does, for example, what does this BC set uh, do, right, when activating this BC set? So activation of this BC set loads data with respect to the business roles for a particular in the landscape, okay. And uh, the data that this BC set brings into uh, uh, the system is stored in a uh, table view called, uh, let us go to SM30, in a view called V underscore GR FN con GRP. Okay. Let's see what this one shows. So you have the connector groups, right? So you get that, we'll see another one, okay? And what is the other table that you can have? So GRAC, uh, what's that, con GRP stat. Okay, so this is one way of, you don't know this. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, this is not the table. Now let's figure that out later. So, but anyway, so the thing is, you can also find uh, what this state data, what data comes in. Uh, and what table it goes into from the activation log. So if you go to display overall view, 
basically tells you this is the table, okay? Where the master data comes in. So this table, let's go quickly copy this table and we'll have a quick check what we probably mistyped something. Okay, so the other thing is, uh, uh, okay, so it's a table, right? Okay, so that's the mistake we made, it's a table. So we cannot use SM30, so we have to go to SC16. Okay, so let's go there. And uh, if you execute, you'll get the connector groups and uh, whatever it brings in, okay? All right, so that's one thing, right? And the second thing what we saw is this, the view. Okay, and then the, and the entry has two languages, or two, two languages. So this one, this BC set basically brings in, uh, loads the data with respect to business roles. Okay, all right, so what is the next? Let's take the next one, okay. Uh, GRS search, let's search for GRS again and continue. And let's check this one, methodology, okay. And click on act, activate, same steps. Activate, it prompts you for a transport request. If you have created one, you use that and select export mode and continue. Again, if you see activation successfully completed, when you click the log, you know, you will see what data it brought in, brought in, okay? Brings in the different, uh, uh, default methodology. We'll see that when we configure uh, methodologies, okay? And after some time, you'll see that. And the table, this is the path that you need to follow. And this is a table uh, where it is stay saved. This, this data is saved in this table, okay? And uh, there, are, there are seven steps, right? A methodology and those seven steps are best mentioned here and uh, what are those seven steps in different languages is mentioned in this table GRAC, GRACV underscore step. The description of those seven stages of role creation, uh, role management is specified in this table. Okay, so activation of this BC set, this one methodology BC set, basically loads data related to role methodology, uh, process and uh, the steps. Okay, what is the third? Let's go to the third one now. What is the third uh, step that we, we have, okay? So, again, GRAC underscore uh, asterisk. And now let us select the third one, which is prerequisite types. Select this, activate, export mode, and activation is completed. So what does this do? This BC set basically uh, creates the data that are needed as role prerequisite types. Uh, such as, you know, training or certification, uh, whatever, right? So let's check the log and see what data it brings in. Okay, so the data is stored in GRACV underscore pre rec type table view. Table basically this is a table. And it brings in certification, non-disclosure agreement, and training uh, types. Okay, if you have anything, uh, customized, you want to create your own uh, prerequisite type, uh, you can do that in a uh, SPRO, SPRO transaction, okay? This is all what SAP gives you, but you can uh, create your own uh, prerequisite types also. Okay, so let's go back. And uh, now let's take uh, the fourth one. role status, okay? So let's do the same steps again, activate, put it in a transport, expert mode, select, activation successful. So what does this do? So this BC set activation uh, basically uh, 
helps you describe whether uh, the system is a development system or the role is in development or uh, production or uh, testing states uh, status okay so if you have any other status you know on hold or whatever you can define your own in uh, customization and that data is going to be stored in this table grcv underscore role status okay and if you see it's maintained in different languages here so dev production and test so basically you can specify the uh, role status whether it's in development or production or testing stage status okay and now let's look at uh, the last uh, bc set which is required for brm select and search and let's go and search for the last one is sensitivity so let's click on send that and then activate transport request export mode and continue activation successful so what does this do let's take a look so let's check uh, take uh, go to overall view and if you look you can define it brings in the role sensitive sensitivity uh, you know types okay whether it's normal or is classified or restricted you know that kind of thing so you have you have something called let's say confidential okay which is same as classified right so you can create your own too in uh, custom while doing customization customizing we'll see what, how what what it is where you know how very where we do that and that this data the role sensitivity data is stored in grcv underscore rl sense okay so this table contains this data okay and this is the path for example in every um bc set you will have if you if you if you are uh, if you are able to customize it it will give you the customizing path so under access control you go to role management and define role sensitivity that is the path to go to define your own uh, customize your own set role sensitivity uh, options okay so now like i said you can manually do it but these five uh, basic sets are required for uh, uh, brm 